This is a uh, ferret finder uh, transmitter which came to me in pieces and I've managed to mend. Now the uh, negative battery terminal contacts in the bottom of the battery case there and the positive end of the battery contacts on uh, that little spring clip there which touches or should touch when you screw it down that part there should touch on that little tag which I have replaced with a piece of fuse wire everything should be okay now uh, there wasn't anything wrong with the electronics of this uh, collar receiver so I had a look to see why my friend who broke it apart thought there was something wrong with it. Uh, these are the 394 batteries which fit and these are the ones that I have been using which measure 3.5 millimeters or thereabouts. They are nominally 3.6 millimeters thick. And these are the ones that my friend had been using. And they are visibly bigger at 4 millimeters thick. And you won't be able to see in the picture, but they are actually domed at the back. Now, this size difference is a 15% difference, uh, which is more or less one millimetre difference over the two batteries which go in the uh, ferret finder. One millimetre is quite a huge difference and I think that screwing them down probably distorts the back enough to uh, create a no contact situation. So the first thing to be do is be careful that you are using good batteries. Not only good in their power output, but good in their dimensions. Here I have a uh, dead ferret finder transmitter, which uh, came to me uh, in pieces, more or less as it is now. Now it seems to have been broken apart. That component there sits in the bottom of this top hat and is the negative I think battery connector and that top hat sits inside the uh, transmitter anyway as manufactured this component here which will be the uh, positive battery terminal comes up the uh, outside of is soldered on to the there's an obvious solder pad for it comes up the outside of that uh, core on the inside of this top hat and through that little hole where it's bent over to the outside to make contact with uh, that part in the lid there And I rather imagine that this part is soldered in after the thing has been assembled. Anyway, it was all broken apart when I got it. So what I've done is I've soldered on two pieces of fuse wire to do the jobs. I can put the top hat back in, just like this. I can solder a small piece of uh, nickel or tinned copper onto that uh, piece there to make the contact and I think I should be able to solder that piece straight back onto the uh, centre uh, piece of fuse wire and once I've clipped it off of course. Now I have had a few of these uh, things before that haven't worked and I have always found that it's just down to dirty terminals 
So I have cleaned them with a small wire brush of the kind that uh, you stick in a Dremel or other uh, little handy gadget. One of these things. And uh, then clean it off with a bit of alcohol and they've always worked. So uh, with small things like this, there's uh, no place for these ham-fisted folk who take it apart with a screwdriver and the pen knife. Uh, I don't use them with ferrets, I actually use them for tracing drains. So it doesn't matter to me about it being really small. And in this particular case, I think I might just drill through the top and uh, put some extra wires on so that I can use a bigger battery. I've got the ferret finder uh, locator turned right down at minimum sensitivity at the moment. There we are. Anyway, I hope this uh, points you in the right direction. Thank you for watching.